report the news or something with my knees like this <laughs> anyways um hey guys welcome back to my channel yeah like it's the chair i feel like it's the chair like it's very like welcome back and other news today in california the weather is 30 degrees outside and it is slightly breezy hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm coming at you with my november favorites i hope you guys had an amazing thanksgiving i had so much fun I hung out with my suegros this year. Remember how I mentioned in my um, doing my makeup in the dark challenge? I was like, you guys, is it difficult for you to spread time with family, like with your hubby? Like who are you guys gonna kick it with? So this year we decided to go hang out with my suegros and then the day after we went to go hang out with my mom. But yeah, the month of November just like flew by like crazy oh my gosh like i can't believe we're in december already and i'm just shocked that i'm actually being more active on youtube so can i get a motherfucking round of applause thank you um and thank you so much to everybody who is new to my channel i do also have a vlog channel if you guys want to keep up with me there um it's a little bit different than this channel and this channel you guys know i always talk about fashion makeup blah 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 and then in the other channel you guys kind of get to follow me around in my everyday life so if you guys want to subscribe to that channel go ahead and subscribe so i have two food items i also have some hair products um a little bit of makeup and some fashion so i'm just gonna go ahead and shut the fuck up and let's get into it so my first item has to be my louis vuitton speedy of course i feel like i have been using her all the time she's like my go-to purse and you guys there's three different sizes in the speedy i'm not exactly sure but i know that this is a 25 and then there's a 30 then there's a 35 this has to be like my mom bag because when i'm super on the go like i just be throwing shit in here like look i have a baby water bottle in here i have a lip gloss i have lip combos i have tylenol i have hoop earrings i have glasses in here i have a tampon and you guys it just fits so much stuff so if you guys are looking into getting a designer bag i would totally recommend this one i prefer the light toned one just because i feel like recently i've been wearing a lot of light wash colors a lot of like um jeans and things like that so i feel like this goes perfect i really love that it comes with the strap like this so you can make it extra long or you can shorten up the strap and make it short like this or you can just carry it like this shout out to the louis vuitton speedy i feel like she's bougie and she's also very practical and she fits so much in here by the way before we continue with the video i have bangs did you guys notice that like what I cut my bangs and you guys, I have been trying to convince my hairstylist, Tony, shout out to Tony, uh, for months to cut my bangs. But he's just like, no, I don't think you're going to like it, blah, blah, blah. But I just said, you know what, Tony, you're coming over today and you're cutting my bangs, okay? Because, girl, I'm feeling my bangs. I did get my nails done earlier today. We are feeling festive. We are feeling winter wonderland. So these are my nails um i will go ahead and tag adi and link you guys to her instagram so you guys can check her out she is amazing and i feel like she killed this set like into this detail yes i'm loving it these jeans that i'm about to show you guys i wore a few times already whenever i wear them and i post them on instagram i get so many questions like oh my god jenny where did you get your jeans where did you get your jeans and you guys are gonna be shook when i tell you where i bought these so these are the jeans these are super trendy right now because vintage is in baby girl and they are long so they're not high waters at the end i feel like it's so difficult to try to find jeans like this and i went to um thrift store or whatever and i bought a few pairs of jeans and then when i came home these jeans are deceiving because i thought that they were going to fit me because like i do want it want it to be like um uh, kind of like a loose fit or whatever and so when i bought a few pairs of them i think i spent like 40 to 50 dollars on two pairs of jeans i got home tried them on my butt would not fit them jeans so i was like what muda which is kevin my best friend's um boyfriend he was like you need to go to um walmart they have some there like go to the men's section men's department and get the jeans there because they're really good and you can get that vintage kind of vibe that you're going for so i was like okay so i went to the men's department and this is in a 32 by 34 
so that's probably the smallest that you're gonna get at the waist especially because you guys know like i did get a bbl so my waist is like small right now and then since my butt is kind of bigger and i did put on some weight it's still like big and i know it looks crazy it looks like oh my gosh like it's not gonna fit but it does and then the 34 has to do with the length you guys they're so amazing but i tried them on and the waist was just not fitting me i tried belts i tried everything so what i did was i went to go get these tailored i got them tailored to my size and now they fit perfectly you guys i get so many compliments on these so yes these are the jeans ladies they do have light wash they have dark wash they have a bunch and they retail for only $12 and then when I got them tailored I believe it was like $20 depending on what tailor place that you go to obviously the prices are going to vary but yes they are amazing I love them and they're very very great great quality all right so the next item is the era facial steamer by vanity planet you guys have seen me post about this on my insta stories i am so obsessed with this little thing it looks funny i know like it looks like a little egg but what this is is pretty much a steamer for your face so it helps soften your face rejuvenates your face and also detoxifies your face whenever you guys are doing a facial or whenever you're kind of wanting to detox the skin from all the makeup and everything that you've been putting on your face what i do with this is like I will sit in it for like a few minutes like I'd say like five minutes max and then it starts to loosen up my pores so that way whenever I go in to um, kind of extract my whiteheads on my nose because I get whiteheads all the time because you guys know I wear a lot a lot of makeup so dude my whiteheads be like poking out right here and instead of going in dry like that can actually cause scars and damage to your skin so whenever I do that I like to go in with the steamer because this helps soften up your face and whenever you go get like a like a facial like at a professional salon with an esthetician they always use these before they go in to extract the nose but I love that you can use this at home and it does have the power setting right here this is where the power setting is right here it is a touch screen let me show you guys how you pop this open to fill it in with water so what you do is you twist right here and then you add the water and obviously you can do minimum max um i feel like the steam does kind of eat up a lot so i do like to change it depending on how long um, I want to put this on but I would recommend to do this once a week I do extractions once a week on my nose I'm so obsessed with this you guys I've been using this for months now and I feel like it has changed the game if you guys do want to purchase the facial steamer from vanity planet I will be linking it down below and with this link you guys are able to save 50% off of your facial steamer so take advantage of that because Christmas is around the corner and if you guys are trying to buy a gift or any of the products that you see in this video girl get on top of of it but yes the link will be listed down below if you guys want to check it out um moving on to moisturizers i have two moisturizers here and the reason why i have two is because this is the moisturizer that i use for when i get out of the shower when i wake up in the morning when i wash my face cleanse exfoliate and then this moisturizer is the one that i use right before i'm going to do my makeup this is the drunk elephant polypeptide cream um so this is what it looks like um it has like a pump right here so what you do is like you press it down i'm not gonna press it down because you guys this is like my baby and i do not want to waste any pump but it has like a little button you press down and then you scoop it up and you put on this moisturizer so i've been so obsessed with drunk elephant you guys i'm not sure if i have mentioned drunk elephant in my favorites before but i kind of feel like i have they're a skincare line that has medical grade products in it and i know they're kind of more on the pricier side but what i have learned throughout the years is that Sometimes you do have to spend a little bit extra when it comes to your skin, especially when they have really, really good ingredients like this has peptides in it. And it's just really good for hydration. I have sensitive and very dry skin, so this helps me um, maintain moisture. So I really, really love it. I know that skincare is kind of intimidating. So you're just kind of like, I just don't even know what to use. Like, what do I start with? What goes first? You know, serums, moisturizers, plumpers, and cleansers. So I know it's overwhelming, but if you guys want to start with something, I would recommend this moisturizer. And then this moisturizer is the one that I've been using when I do my makeup. This is the vegan milk moisturizer by milk. And you guys, this is so thick like thick in a good way obviously this helps prep and prime the face i noticed that whenever i use this moisturizer the moisturizer is sticky enough 
for my makeup to just lay on it beautifully you know i was actually shocked because i've never actually tried milk skincare products but when they launched this i loved the packaging and i started using it you know i always whenever i get like new products sent in the mail or whatever i always kind of put it right there by my vanity so that way it's there and i'm actually using it and i'm using it and i can see how it wears throughout the day how my skin reacts to it so a lot of the products that i talk about especially in my favorites you guys i will never recommend you something that doesn't work for me and i'm a picky ass bitch okay let me tell you so i always get dms and emails all the time like jenny oh my god thank you for recommending me this like it's so amazing and oh my gosh jenny i can't wait for your next favorites videos because everything you put me on is bomb so don't worry y'all i have you back unfortunately i don't have coupon codes for every single product in this video but don't worry i am going to be working on that and in the future who knows what if i have coupon codes for everything period the next skincare item this is kind of like skincare slash makeup this is the dominic cosmetics collab with jd wady 180 and this is her facial spray so i have been using this ever since she's launched it it smells so amazing Mm, it just smells like skincare. It smells expensive. It smells like okay. This is good for my skin And honestly even sometimes when I don't have any makeup on or i'm just kind of trying to moisturize or replenish the skin I literally just spray this all over my face. So it's really good as a prepping For the face as a priming and if you guys are big on facial sprays because I am too bitch look at look at that mist bitch like, I only like to use mists for when I um, set my face or whatever that have that kind of mist because there have been so many times where I spend like um, an hour doing my makeup, an hour plus an extra 30 minutes doing my makeup, and then I spray down my face and it fucks it up because the mister, the spray, is just like too dramatic. And yes, so obsessed with this. Part of the recommend for you guys to try this. It smells amazing. You guys will not be disappointed. I wouldn't really consider this makeup, but this is what I use to uh, do my makeup routine or whatever. So of course you guys know I'm gonna be featuring my Batty B fan. It has two settings. I always use this every single time I do my makeup. I use this to dry my face whenever I set it because I just hate the feeling of having spray on my face especially because too much spray on your face could fuck up your makeup and I feel like if you dry it fast enough your makeup is just going to be so flawless and so seamless and it's going to look like skin trust me um i also use this to dry my lashes whenever i'm going to put them on like i wait for the glue to get a little bit tacky and then i throw it on i also use this to dry my eyeliner and yeah i've had some people tell me that they use it when it's hot outside so period the betty b fan get your hands on it bitch so this palette i have been using it every single time i do my makeup even if i do something super simple so obsessed with this palette you guys so this is the ofra glow up palette this is what she looks like there are four different highlighters in here and there's like a light 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 golden tone highlighter there's a medium golden tone highlighter and then there's a rose gold highlighter these are so bomb because sometimes i want to go for a more bronzy look so obviously you would use the more bronzier one sometimes you want to go for an even bronzier one which would be this rose gold you could also use them as a blush topper so i, I go in with that when i'm doing something bronzy like in the summer and this one i love 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 to use when i when i want my highlight to be a little bit more pop and more blending you could pair these up with both of them together to kind of give you like a gradient effect these go on so buttery like i am so dumb when it comes to applying highlighter like i feel like i barely started getting into highlighter again and the reason why i had stopped was because i wasn't really good at like putting it on but with this one oh my gosh you guys the skin looks so flawless when you apply it on and it's so easy to blend out i also use this on the inner corner you can use this as a shadow you can use it for everything and then whenever i don't really like any of these colors depending on the type of makeup that i do i go in with with this lighter one as well and whenever i'm in a rush i'm just like i don't have time to think about what i'm gonna put on or what highlighter to put on if it's just one of those days i always grab this one and it's super easy because i know that it has a variety for me to choose from so i love that and i also love that it has a mirror so if you guys are traveling or anything like that just grab and go bitch i love makeup products that make my life easier and this is definitely one of them so i also have been super loving the 24 hour brow setter by benefit so i have come across a lot of brow gels 
but this one is just different this one is just a game changer you guys and i recently got into this a few months ago and i have not put this down like i feel like i gravitate towards this one out of 50 brow gels that i have it's like tacky in a sense where like if you want to groom out your brows and just comb them out and make them look nice and sparse in between and give you that like feathered brow look you know that feathered brow look that's like trending all over instagram i love to use this along with my baddie b fan what i do is like i kind of dry this out so that way it gets even tackier so you can really glue down your brows but actually um desi was the one that got me into this because when she did her collab with benefit I tried this out for the first time and you know i had always been like a pomade type of girl for the brows but let me tell you brow gels are powerful and they really change the game with the brows so shout out to benefit for this this is amazing they have so many different types of brow pencils i think that should be like another in-depth video if you guys want to see like all about brows like let's talk about brows you know because i'd be using pomades i'd be using shadows i'd be using brow pencils and i was never the type of person to use brow pencils uh because i didn't know how to use them but now i feel like brow pencils is the only thing that i use recently um but yes they are amazing so my current favorite foundation has to be the dose of colors you guys i cannot stop wearing this foundation i have dry skin so finding a foundation that works for people who have dry skin is so difficult because you want to find something that's hydrating and also full coverage because i'm a full coverage queen like i love a good coverage foundation but since you have dry skin sometimes it can make you look cakey it can make you look cracked it can just make you look dusty crusty disgusting this foundation does not do that to me and i feel like they have a wide range of colors so whenever i'm tan or when i'm not tan like i'm just able to find the right color i switch off in between the colors 15 all the way up to 20 but right now for today i mixed 117 with 115 they're both light medium but obviously they're going to be different um tones i feel like this foundation is very very buildable so if you guys want more full coverage you can add a second layer or you can add a third layer just depending on how much full coverage that you want but i just feel like it always ends up looking like skin and that's something that i really appreciate in a foundation something that's going to give me coverage keep me hydrated throughout the day because i do have dry skin and also just make me look flawless and not cracked and cakey so moving on to Calzones. Yes, I did say calzones, ladies. I was on the hunt for some underwear, y'all. And I just have been so busy recently, especially with um, me being more active on social media, me being a mom, me also being a CEO and a wife and a daughter. You guys know the drill. Like, y'all know. It's just life be getting so hard, right? So I was on Amazon the other day and I was like, let me see if they have underwear. Bitch, tell me why they have packs of underwear. So these are three different underwears that I ordered. I ordered like a pack of the lace ones, a pack of the regular cotton plain thong. They don't say nothing on it. I just want my underwears to be plain, y'all. Like plain underwears, cotton, thank you, because my vagina does not like anything else besides cotton. And that's to all my girls who are yeasty and be getting UTIs and be getting um, bacterial vaginosis. We do not want none of that here. So this keeps my pH balance great so this is kind of more like a g-string but not full full g-string and i love to wear these specifically whenever i'm going out and i don't want thick ass um calzon lines like peeking through or whatever they feel comfortable i will say that the little straps right here like in between the legs do feel a little bit tight but honestly i haven't like washed them yet because i bought so many packs of these that like i'm still going through all the new ones like all of these are brand new you guys so i can't say how they wear after i wash them and dry them but the prices are unbeatable you don't gotta go to the store you don't gotta worry about looking for your size you don't gotta worry about paying you don't gotta worry about calvin klein and you get yourself some affordable undies for like 9.99 like you guys they have so many different colors this is the different pack that i bought and i'm actually wearing these right now i'll get up so you guys are able to see and then i also bought these cute lacy ones so for my girls who like to be cute and wear kind of like a more victoria's secret vibe you guys should totally check these out so this is what they look like obviously you can't see it but like if i were to be wearing the other underwears i feel like you'd be able to see it but the g-string kind of vibe 
helps you like not see anything at all so this is the intuition hello kitty razor this was actually gifted to me by a friend it was a gift she also sent me the um changeable razors or whatever so i had no idea that this little part of the razor like when you change it and stuff like that like each razor comes with a little soap it's like a little soap that moisturizes so when you're shaving if you are the type of person that like shaves really fast and it's just like oh my god get in and get out but you still want to shave this is so perfect so convenient and i have yet to cut myself with it i literally shave with this without having to put on any soap on the leg because this already has the soap for you so it nourishes i think it has like cocoa butter and shit i don't know it has like stuff that you know are obviously going to help the skin and help kind of lubricate so that way if you are a fast shaver you just boom 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 get in and get out the soap smells so good i love it and it has a hello kitty on it and i was like should i include it in my favorites because there's like a bunch of hair on it and i was just like fuck it like i really want to share what i have been using in the shower and this is one of them so i really really love these sugar scrubs and you guys can get these at target and i believe target also has that hello kitty uh razor or whatever this is the tree hut shea sugar scrub and the uh coconut lime scent they have so many different sense you guys and i love to use this to exfoliate the body like this smells like a vacation that i need bitch because girl it smells so good like smell it like fresh as fuck you guys every time i use this and my butt is super smooth like emmanuel notices those kinds of little things like he's just like oh my god you're so soft and i'm just like oh my god i know i was born like that but yeah this is definitely a must in your bath body kit if you guys want to have a soft ass so shout out to tree hut another shower product that is a must have ladies please everybody must have this this is what i would recommend to people they would walk into sally's talking about my hair is dry what should i do what should i do the mega moisture by l'oreal deep conditioner oh my god i put my sister on this and she was like dude my hair is so soft like she had left it in her hair for like an hour and it helped obviously you don't have to leave it on for an hour because it's really strong when i say strong i just mean super duper moisturizing like you will never find another deep conditioner that works like this it smells so fruity like almost like a starburst like i feel like this smells like a mango um pineapple starburst and it comes in a really big tub like this you guys i love to shop at sally's for my hair products rather than going to walmart target right Aid. i just feel like i don't trust anything in there um sally beauty supply is where it's at so if you guys have dry hair or in, are in need of a deep conditioner please check this out all right so the next product is it why am i like <laughs> about to hit y'all like <laughs> So the next product, this is my baby, y'all. This is the Foxy Bay Blowout Blow Dryer Brush. So this is like a two-in-one um, because I'm super dumb when it comes to blow drying. I feel like blow drying is such an art and I just struggle with the brush and the blow dryer. Like I'm trying to get better at it, I know, because ever since I got my hair extensions put in, whenever I wash my hair, like it gets super wet and I don't like to go to sleep with my hair wet because the next day it, it like gets super frizzy. But this is really good if you want to um, like defrizz your hair because sometimes, let's just say for example, you go to sleep with wet hair, right? And then the next morning it's like tangled up and frizzy. If you don't want to straighten it, because I know sometimes going in with the straightener, like you still have little pieces of hair that's like not cooperating. This helps silk out and smooth the hair. Um, so it does come with three settings it has a cold and then it also has a one and then a two so i love the heat that it comes with it because it's not super duper duper hot um but it's just enough to dry the hair so what i do is when i get out of the shower when my hair is wet or when i'm trying to defrizz detangle because you can use it even when it's dry just to kind of like um style it up because sometimes if my hair isn't wet and i still want to style it what i do is i just like spritz the ends with water so that way it can really like get in there since this is like a two-in-one it's the brush plus the blow dryer so you're able to have like more control rather than 
a blow dryer and a brush you know like when you're just like yeah that's so professional you guys so if you still want to be able to smooth out your hair and um just have it be super easy you guys are going to be obsessed with this so i grab a piece and then you can rotate it downward like this inward or you can also do it outward or you can just like slick it straight so i just keep doing it until my hair oh mood me fucking up my hair until my hair is completely dry so i'm really really loving this you guys know i love boxy Bay products i talk about them all the time i use their dry shampoo and even their shampoos and conditioners are so so bomb they smell amazing if you guys do want to get your hands on the foxy Bay blow dryer um you guys can go ahead and click the link that i will be listing down below i am so obsessed with this scent this is the Greenwich Village. I think I'm saying it wrong because last time that I mentioned it on my Insta stories, people were coming at me. They're like, "That's not how you say it." I'm just like, "Well, this is how I say it, girl. This is how I say it." So Greenwich, Greenwich is what it is. Mm -hmm. Get irritated. Are you irritated? Mm -hmm. It's Greenwich in my eyes. Okay. So it's the Greenwich Village, um, and it's by uh, NYC. This is the brand. Let me tell you guys a little secret. I don't know if this is considered to be fake because i did purchase this off of amazon for like 200 dollars, right originally this is priced at i believe 400 to 500 dollars like at Saks or like those really expensive high-end stores which is where i found this brand because i was like looking for a perfume to buy and she gave me the little um sap or whatever and then i smelled it it smelled bomb and i was like oh my god i want to buy it how much she was like 500 and i'm just like okay just because you have money doesn't mean that you spend it a lo pendejo um, I like to save my money. I like to splurge on certain things or whatever So my, my husband was like dude just buy it off of Amazon like normally Amazon is like a whole seller So like obviously Saks and Bloomingdale's and all those high-end stores are going to charge you more because they got to pay their rent So I ordered it and honestly it smells amazing It stays on so long and I just have no complaints if it's fake it's fake, but I still get compliments when I wear it and it still smells amazing I feel like we have two more products so thank you for those of you guys who have been watching this video and have stayed tuned throughout the whole thing because i know i've been talking a lot so this has been my favorite protein at the moment i know it's so random because it's like okay beauty beauty and then like protein powder before i used to use like plant-based protein that already has flavor like vanilla chocolate strawberry whatever right then when i would mix my fruit into my smoothies i feel like the taste of that protein would overpower my smoothies and i'm just like i like how i added blueberries i like how i added peanut butter and i can't taste it because the taste of the chocolate of the protein that i'm drinking is just so gross so i actually discovered pea protein so pea protein is unflavored it's vegan and it's still considered obviously a plant-based protein except it's just protein derived from peas so in one tablespoon of this protein it comes with eight grams and it's just so crazy because i just add a tiny bit to my um to my shakes or whatever and if i make it a strawberry banana smoothie i can taste the strawberry banana so i did purchase this off of amazon and the reason why i got into pea protein was because when i order smoothies like from um doordash and i get it from like nectar or like really high-end places like that where they charge you like 10 12 dollars for a fucking smoothie they add like pea protein and things like that so that's why i feel like those smoothies are more flavorful and yeah i feel like pea protein has changed my life i use it every single time i do a smoothie so for those of you guys who are smoothie fanatics and know what the fuck i'm talking about if you know you know girl get yourself some unflavored pea protein I feel like that pretty much completes my november favorites i try not to include so many so many things but there's just so many products like i wish you guys could live with me so i could talk to you guys about products while i'm like living my life you feel me because there's just so much that goes on there's so many products that i just love to use like i i just don't know what i would do without my products like girl like imagine what i would look like without my products no girl like that is not it anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys do ever purchase any of the products that i mentioned in my videos please tag me i love to repost you guys on my insta stories and i'm always constantly responding to people in my dms y'all so don't think that i don't be responding because i be responding and people are like oh my god i cannot believe you responded i'm like yes girl i'm always watching 
Uh, so yes, you guys, if you aren't subscribed, y'all know what to do. And if you want to see more of me, just follow me on Instagram. I'm always constantly uploading on my Insta stories. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel and you want to see me upload more, go check me out on there. But yeah, I'm about to head out. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.